Hey guys, today we're working on an 04 F-150. We're gonna bleed the brakes. We just did a complete rear brake job. So the next step on this is going to be to bleed the brake system. Since it's hydraulic, after you push the piston back in, you may have inserted a small amount of air and with hydraulics, you cannot compress air. So this is gonna be the most efficient, most effective way to ensure that all of the air is out of the system and your brake pedal doesn't have a spongy feel to it. So this is a two person job. You're gonna have one person up sitting in the driver's seat pumping the brakes for you while you're back here. Our bleeder zerk is right here underneath this rubber grommet. You're just gonna pull it off and there's your zerk right there. And for this application, it's a 10 millimeter. Okay, go ahead and pump the brakes up. Good communication is skill to bleeding brakes, especially when you have somebody with you and you don't have one of the hydraulic bleeders. It's firm? Well, it's as stiff as it's gonna get? Okay. So what I'm gonna have James do is I'm gonna have him push and hold on the brake pedal because he has already pumped it up to the point where it's as stiff as it's going to get without any pressure or anything like that. And he says that it's still pretty spongy so we know that there's air in the system that's not compressing. Okay, are you holding? Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna loosen it up. Okay. And he says he's at the bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that back up. Okay, go ahead and pump. Okay, let me know when you've got four pumps and holding. Okay, he's at the bottom again. Pump. Does that feel pretty good? Okay, I didn't have hardly any air that time, so I'm gonna jump to the other side. And now we're on the other side. We're gonna take that rubber Zerk cover off. There's the Zerk. Are you pumped up, James? Okay, so he has been holding the brake pedal for me while I've been switching sides. How oh, are you holding? Okay. Okay, we're tight. Pump. Got a nice solid stream coming out of the Zerg. Okay, pump. Less than two pumps. That means that we got all the air out. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time. Holding. As you can tell with the fluid, as it's coming out of the Zerg, there are no bubbles. Usually when you have a whole lot of air in the system, like if you would replace the caliper or anything like that, you'll notice that when you start doing the process, you're gonna hear a bunch of air coming out. And that's just pushing the air out of the system and allowing the fluid to actually get to where it needs to get. And then, once you get to this point, you know you're good. Okay, pump it and let's see how many. Okay. Okay, so now, since we got these bled out, we're gonna go ahead and put the rubber nipples back on and we're good to go. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. We'll definitely have more how-tos coming. If there's anything you guys wanna see for any of the vehicles that we've done any work on, just let us know and we can get you hooked up. Thank you, have a good day.